Novak Djokovic denied the right to stay in Australia just days before the Australia Open begins. The Minister for Immigration about a quarter of an hour ago was announced. Alex Hawke is the Minister for Immigration. He decided that having had COVID is not sufficient grounds for a medical exemption from vaccination. It comes after he originally won his appeal against being deported, of course, earlier on this week. We're joined now from Melbourne, Australia, uh, by the sports writer, journalist Linda Pearce. And we've also got former British number one, Andrew Castle, as well. Uh, Linda, if we can start with you, uh, breaking news for us, just as Kate was saying about 15, 20 minutes mm. ago. Um, what more can you tell us about what uh, the immigration minister had to say? Well, he hasn't actually said anything um, in person yet. It's simply the statement that most people received about 15 minutes ago that on health and good order grounds, on the basis that it was in the public interest to do so, he has cancelled Novak Djokovic's visa for a second time, five days after he earned a reprieve in the federal court. So it's been a long time coming, this government decision. Um, they've been sweating on it, I'm sure making the best use of all their legal resources to not be humiliated again in the courtroom. And this is where we're at. What are the options for Novak now? Can he appeal? He will. He will appeal. He'll seek an injunction. The tournament is two days away. He's the top seed. He's already in the draw to play a fellow serve in Monday. So he has two days now to try and get out of this, this hole for a second time. What's, what's the feeling in Australia about Novak Djokovic actually being eligible to play? Is the ground swell, the majority of Australians feel like he shouldn't be there, or do they want him to be sort of the main attraction at their sort of big event? They absolutely don't want him to play. <laughs> the vast majority think that he should have been vaccinated in the first place. There's been a huge bungle um, from the government, from Tennis Australia, from Border Force, from all the people who allowed the visa to be granted in the first place. Um, there's a, obviously a small minority of Serbian-based fans and other people who think that he's been a bit harshly treated. There was a slight groundswell of support more in his favour um, sort of earlier in the week, but I think that's pretty much dissipated now and most people think that he should be um, banned from playing. Andrew, I have to say, we haven't had a, a huge number of comments, but all the comments we've had on this since uh, it was announced 20 minutes ago are saying, well done, Australia. Justice is served. Good on Australia. No one is bigger than the rules. And it goes on and on and on. Um, what is your feeling? What options does he really have now? It's so tight to the tournament starting, isn't it? Um, well, it is. It's starting on Monday. He's a nine-time champion. It was very interesting to note that the detail that we do have from Alex Hawke, the uh, immigration minister, is that this was done on public interest grounds rather than on uh, general character grounds. It would be one of those two reasons for revoking this visa for a second time. Um, and and what, what the situation is now, they will be an, expecting an appeal. So presumably the Aussie government, uh, the immigration department, have been, have been building this case. If it's uh, on the grounds of public interest, as it appears to be that he's, been, um, he, he's going to be told to go, uh, that, then it must be about the false declaration on the form, which he apologised for on behalf of an agent, because he said Elena Capillaro, his agent, filled out the form incorrectly. And that was about... Uh, his travel and his movements after mm. testing positive on a PCR on December the 16th. He was in Spain, you see, uh, and he conducted an interview with uh, Le Keep magazine as well. He was uh, seen uh, at, at a ceremony where a stamp was named after him and he was giving out prizes to children at his own tennis centre as well. But, it, but it's that movement um, th thing to, to, to Spain, which I think... Will, uh, will really have hurt him here. And probably the immigration department will have looked at that and said, that's too much, uh, because they will be expecting an appeal. He might still be playing on Monday. This has just been dragging on for an ever, ever and ever. Interesting to note the public poll in Australia. I'm not surprised. 83% of him want him gone. I'd say it's probably more than that in terms of the locker room and his fellow players. That's interesting. Uh, Andrew, this is one of the four Grand Slams on the tennis calendar. It's a huge event for Australia, and they love their sport, but it's one of their, their diamond events that they have in the sporting <laughs> calendar. How on earth does one of the Grand Slams get something like this so wrong? Look, Australia have been through their own version of hell over the previous uh, two years and try to set rules as they have tried to uh, open up after having one of the most uh, restrictive uh, set of uh, criteria to follow over the last two years has been difficult. To have global travellers 
when people have not been able to come in to, to say goodbye to dying relatives, even if they've been double vaccinated and more and don't have uh, COVID. Of course, this is a vastly emotional thing for Australia to, to, to go through. Uh, it's a massive event. It's a total embarrassment. The thing is, if you've got Tennis Australia on the one hand, who are running the event, and their chief exec is Craig Tiley, under enormous pressure now, of course, you've got the state of Victoria and you've got the federal government. And, uh, and let, let's be honest, there is a political wind which wafts through this. Uh, the immigration minister has now done something that the public want. Elections are just over four months uh, away. I'm not saying that it played a part in this decision. But uh, we know politics does get into sport. Sport and politics don't mix. No, and uh, the sensitivities, as you said there, Andrew, of people not being able to travel to see their family in and out the country when so many have family uh, abroad, uh, particularly in Australia. Linda, will we see him play on Monday? What's your gut telling you? Oh, it's such a tough one. I think mm. uh, the court may allow him to play on Monday. But what a... What a th an un unbelievable situation that the, a player could be dragged out of a tournament after it's begun and deported and sent home, uh, especially someone of Djokovic's standing and with his achievements in the game. It's almost something so surreal that you can't believe it's happening. Andrew, will it, will it be a big miss? I mean, obviously, he's world number one. He's defending champion. He's, I think you said he's nine-time champion. I mean, how much of a miss is it going to be if he doesn't play? Or will actually this allow some of the other uh, stars on the, on, on, the, on the circuit to actually shine and, and maybe pick up a grand slam? Well, it was interesting that Stefanos Tsitsipas, the, uh, the Greek player who Novak beat from two sets down, actually, in the French Open final last year, he's one of these young guns trying to uh, make that next step. Uh, he said that Djokovic has, uh, has made a fool of some of the other players who got vaccinated to go down to Australia. So the implication is that we followed the rules. We did what we didn't mm. necessarily want to do. Uh, and yet here you are, you came in knowing the rules, and, um, and I think he used the word courage to do, to do what he did. But I think I know uh, in which way he was using it. So, of course, if Novak Djokovic is not there, other people have a better chance. I would say, on the men's side, Rafa Nadal is playing superbly at the moment. Whilst all the talk has been, well, Novak's going to get to 21 Grand Slams first uh, and break this tie with Federer and Nadal. Uh, Rafa probably his favourite uh, going into it now. Of course, the tournament will miss a great player mm. like this, uh, and we as news hounds will miss the uh, will miss the circus. Mm. But let me tell you, he's not gone yet. No, it's a good. We've point, seen isn't so it? many twists and turns, haven't we? Thank you very much to both of you.